Building membership sites and adding authentication to your Framer site has seemed impossible until today. Today, we're gonna to check out Fenty and we're actually gonna build a membership site in Framer and it's not some pop-up or thing that sits on top of your Framer site. It's actually directly connected and it's a game changer. Let's go. Okay, so this is Fenty and essentially what it allows us to do is add membership sites and actually add checkout buttons and links inside our Framer project. So here we are inside the Fenty dashboard and let's get started by creating a new project and let's call it my app. And let's just select a use case and click create. Now, what I wanna do is go back to my Framer project and I wanna publish my site. And we'll copy this URL here, that's the public URL. And we'll paste that into Fenty and we'll just get rid of the HTTPS and we'll press continue. And now what I wanna do is copy this tag here, go back to my Framer project and inside my settings, we're gonna to go to general and in the head tag here, we're gonna click on paste and we're gonna save that and we're gonna publish my site. So this way, Fenty and Framer can actually talk to one another. Okay, let's go back to Fenty now and let's click on continue. And this is where I can actually set up my plans and products. So for example, if I want to create a subscription plan for any sort of gated content, and that's gonna cost $10 a month, I would select recurring as my payment type. I can also do a single payment if I'm charging for something like a template, or if I'm creating a free download, I can set it to be free as well. But for now, let's set up a recurring payment type and let's call this pro plan and let's set the price to be $10 a month and it's gonna be billed every one month. Now I can have multiple plans and products in here too, which is great, but for now, let's just press continue. Okay, great. And now I can actually start setting up my protected pages inside of Framer. So for example, here I have my homepage, I have my dashboard, a sign up and a login page. While there's not really any content here yet, I wanna make it that only people who have signed up and have paid for my pro plan to have access to this dashboard page. So we can do this really easily inside of Fenty. So what I'm gonna do is create a new path and we're gonna make it that anytime a page slug, so the part that comes after that slash, anytime it starts with dashboard, we're gonna make it accessible for pro plan users, which means if I'm not a pro plan user, whether I'm on another tier or whether I haven't signed up at all, that page will be protected, which means no one can view it. And just like that, my site is basically ready to go. So if I visit my page here on my frame a domain forward slash dashboard and try to reload this page, you'll notice that I'm automatically denied entry. And that's because I don't actually have access to that page anymore. Let's continue the setup inside of Fenty because there's a lot more that we can actually do. For example, if we go to the setup here, we can see all the kind of installation steps that we just took. Now we can take this a step further with redirects. So we wanna make it that when someone visits forward slash dashboard, a page that someone cannot access, we wanna check whether that person can or cannot access it. And if they can't, we actually wanna send them to the login page. So we're just gonna write forward slash login. We can also set redirects here for when someone logs in, when someone completes a payment, or even when someone updates their password. So let's just save that for now and let's retry this. So we're just going to reload that page and you'll notice that I now get directed to forward slash login. Okay, we're making some progress, but you'll notice that my Framer project still looks pretty bland. So now what we can do is actually add some functionality to my website. So inside of Fenty here, I'm going to go to components and you'll see we've got this library here of all these different components and functionality that I can add to my Framer site. So let's add a sign up modal here. So I'm just gonna copy this as a component. I'm gonna go back to my projects, go into the sign up page and we'll just paste this like so. And let's just unlink this component for now so I can see what's going on. So inside this form here, I actually have this new component called Fenty Form. And we can use this for login, register, so creating your account, or even to reset my password. Since this is a create account form, I'm gonna set this to register. I can change my fields just like so, although it's probably better to just leave it because we know that everything kind of works already. 
and I can also change my styling here. Now, one of the powerful things you can do is if you do have multiple plans, you can actually put the plan ID in here to create a specific signup form for that plan. So for example, in my setup here, if I go to plans and products and click on my pro plan, you'll notice I've got this dev ID here. So I've actually copied that and pasted that inside here. It's essentially telling this form what plan someone wants to sign up for. But since we've only got one plan and the default is set to the pro plan, we can leave everything just like so. So let's also do the same for a login page. So I'm just gonna go back to Fenty and we're gonna copy this login component and we're just gonna paste it inside of Framer, just like so. And there's a bunch more different things that we could add here too. We could add a payment success page, an access denied page. We could add a modal for someone to actually update their user information. So let's add that in here now. And let's actually put it on our dashboard page. So let's remove that and paste that in here. And we'll just style this however we want. And the big beauty about this is you have full control over the styling. So if I click into this component here, yes, I've got all these kind of default text and icons here, but essentially the magic is within this Fenty component, which means I can put this element anywhere on my website and style it however I want. So instead of having a pop-up like Outseater or another sort of third party membership tool, you can actually have this directly inside your canvas and have full control over everything. Okay, great. So the last thing I wanna do is go to my redirects once again, and we wanna make it that once someone actually signs up, we're going to make the redirect go to dashboard. And let's just save that. And let's actually create a new product here just for demonstration sakes. And let's create a new free tier. And this is going to be called product free. And we're gonna make this the default plan. So let's just save that. And let's go back to our protected pages once again. And let's also make it that people who are either on the pro plan or the product free can access it. Okay, great. So let's go back to our framer project here and let's just publish our site. So we'll go ahead and update that. And now if we go to our browser, you'll see we've got our sign up page here. Let's go ahead and fill out my details and let's click create account. And you'll notice I get automatically redirected to my dashboard page. And in here I have my component, which is for updating my profile. So if I change my name to be Ryan test and update that, it would update here like so. So if I updated and refresh the page, you'll notice that all my data is saved to here. And then if I go back to my Fenty account and click on members, you'll see I am here as a member and I can actually edit and see my details here as well. So you can see that I've signed up for the free tier and the time that I did that. Now, one of the really powerful things about Fenty 2 is the ability to collect payments. So I can actually integrate my Stripe account with Fenty to actually set this up. So if I go to my account here and go down to payments, I can actually connect my Stripe so I can actually collect those payments directly. And also in my account here, I can change the currency that I wanna use. So whether it be Great British Pounds or USD or Australian dollars, I can set all of that here. And that's about it. There's heaps of different things and opportunities to actually build really powerful sites with Fenty. I'm really excited to see what happens with Fenty over the coming months and what you guys can create with it. It's a really powerful tool and it's just the beginning. And I think this is gonna take your Framer sites to the next level. So if you like this video and you want more Framer content like this, feel free to consider subscribing to the channel. We put out new Framer content every single week. And if you wanna get access to Fenty for yourself, head to Fenty.io and sign up there. Until next time, I'll catch you later.